Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, let's say you bring in this really cool helmet. Let's say your kid's in football or something. And you want something that looks like this, but you don't want your cutter to go through all of this. So you want to pare this down. Okay, well, let's see here. You come up here to Path and click Union. And let's see what happens. Uh-oh. You don't want it to look like that. Okay? You want some features in here still. Okay? But what do you really go about getting rid of? Well, let's see if I can't go through here and help you. Okay? What you want to do, let's see here. Let's see. Let's go through here first. First, we have to get this all apart. Well, let's pull this little guy to the side. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get just pretty much two things on the mat at a time. Let's see what I can pull out here. So let's start pulling things out that you really don't need. So you don't need that. Let's delete it. You only want to keep things that are really going to be needed. So we're going to need that. Let's put that back. Let's see if I can't get that. You don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Some of these things that aren't necessarily important parts. Well, we can get rid of that. Important parts of the design. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to drag this straight down. Well, that, okay, so see, this is a two-layer design. You see, I brought this straight down, and there's another one behind it. So I'm going to get rid of that layer. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to bring this down again, straight down. Okay. So there's the stripe. If you have a stripe on your team, that's fine. Go ahead and drag it to the side. I'll leave that there. My son does not have one. This I'm going to get rid of because with my cutter, it doesn't matter. It's just going to cut a line in there. You're not going to see it anyhow. Hmm. We're going to want to leave that. But let's try to get to this helmet. Okay, this is all one design. But I need to merge it with this right here. So I need to pull this out of the way. Straight over. Okay, so see, I love how Craft Edge gave us this. It highlights. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to capture both of those. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see what Union gives us. Well, kind of took... We have, oh, there's a bunch of different designs in there I'm seeing. Okay, so it's not just two. See, to get all of this stuff to light up, you can only have two objects highlighted. Okay, two objects. So let's see, we have two of them here. Let's see if I that will allow me to do anything. No. All right. You know what then? We're just going to highlight this and we are going to move this straight out of the way until we can figure out a way to do with that. Okay, let's... Come up here and try a union and see what we get with this. So it's a painstaking... <laughs> it's a painstaking process to try to get all of these parts Separated. Okay, right here is one reason. Okay, let's try a union. Okay, so that gives me a better a better thing to work with there. I don't want a lot of detail. When we use our cutters, we don't need a lot of that detail. Like this. Oh my goodness, that one just completely disappeared again. We like this. That detail that's in there, we're not going to see with our cutter, okay? So, 
if we come up here and we do that and we do a union let's see what we get okay that's not so bad to me that is exactly what I would use I would get rid of this I don't need it my cutters just gonna show a bunch of lines and it's a bunch of things that I just have to weed all right let's deal with this so we've got that all right I'm going to bring this straight over and let's see if we can get this to Union now and see if it'll stop disappearing nope Try it now. All right, so I did that and I brought it to the front, and now look at all the options that came up. So let's do a union, see if it disappears again. Ah, perfect. There we go. So that's what we want right there. Now let's come up here, do this whole. Mm -mm. Nope, we want the whole one this time. So let's grab the whole piece. Okay, and try it now. Yes, good. I think what we were doing, or what I was doing, is I was catching this piece, this piece, and this little circle right here. So that's why it was disappearing, because this circle is in the foreground this was in the background so when I was unioning it that's why all of this was disappearing it's really tricky when you union something and the object that you're unioning is actually laying in the background of the mat okay so the circle was in the foreground the mask was in the background when I unioned it it kept the circle and lost the mask Okay, so now we have all of that. So let's go bring this straight back. Okay, let's go back up here. And let's try it again. So it's kind of like you have to strip it all down to the very first layer, and then you have to start restacking it. So it can kind of be a pain, but... I actually like it. I like working with scale. I like taking the puzzle pieces apart. I need to just make sure that all this is going to go right back to where it was. I think I need to do this part first. So you put it together, take it apart, put it back together, take it back apart. Okay, so that's going to stay right there. Bring this back down. Okay, so now let's try this. Oops, missed it. No. Let's try this. And this a lot of times, nope, that's not what I want. It's just going through. Let's try that. And try in the different options you have under path. No, I definitely don't want that. And sometimes none of it will work. And what you go in and do is you use your eraser. And I think that's what I might end up doing here. Yeah, because it's not going to give me what I want. So what I do is I'll come in here and grab my eraser. I'll start blowing this thing up. And I come in, and I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to start erasing, okay? So I'll be back after I have everything I want. Okay, so I have 
<coughs> excuse me, all of the lines taken care of. Um, I'm trying to get out. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, and I think I don't want this one. So I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to bring this one in. Oops. That one goes up here. I'm going to set that one up there. Okay. I'm going to come up here. I need to back that up a little bit. Okay. You know what? I need... That's pretty dark. Oh, it looks like it's okay. I'm betting that's a double... I think it's a duo. Because I have all of them. And we'll go ahead and put that one in there. Alright, so that's on there. So now I can go ahead and pull this back up. To about right there. Oh, I need to put this back in. I think... Uh, no, I don't want that. Okay, and I don't want this, but you see... I have a problem right here. When I erase the line, I erase the wrong line. And this, you know what, no. There, okay. So that fits a little bit better. Yeah, now that fits that back back piece a little better. The side pieces are fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually let me go in and I can group it or what I do because I want to make um, this section, so this piece right here, will be white. So I'll send that to another page. All of my white pieces I'll send to a page. This one for me would be blue because it seems blue. Um, this back here would be white as well. So all of my white pieces will go to white pages. But what I'll do is you can take this pen piece and you can draw to connect that. Okay? So that's how you do that. And then to fix it, path and union. And that fixed that little hole that I accidentally erased. All right, guys, so that's how you go about pulling apart really complex files. And undo it. Break apart. Pull this down. There. Okay, so uh, keep kept that line. But anyways, as I was saying, you don't want to uh, union things when you're going to pull them apart anyhow to send them to different pages. But um, <clears throat> when you want to pull objects, uh, let's say you get this and you want to do um, the different colors, that is how you go about stripping it all the way down because that is what you will need to do uh, when you pull in an object or should I say import an object into scale. You want to take it all the way down. Um, so like it will come in in little pieces like this, you know. Um, so it's not an actual background. It's a little square that makes up um, your face mask. All right. If you have any questions, come over and find me at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scowl on Facebook. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a little in-depth tutorial on how that you can pull things apart and union them to make them all fit together nicely when you go to create something. I hope this helps you guys. Thanks a lot.